and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So I am at it again. I'm out witch hunting and I think today I'm going to go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Dollar Tree. So I thought I'd take you along with me. So let's go.
It's another day and another witch hunt. So today I figured I'd go to yet another Dollar Tree to see if they have any more Halloween stuff out. And also a little birdie told me that Target is starting to get some of their Halloween stuff out in their dollar section. So I'm going to stop there to see if they have anything out as well. So let's go. So I didn't get any footage at Target because there were some cranky Karens behind me <laughs> in the aisle so I couldn't record. But they did have some things out and I had purchased some of them so you'll see those at the end of this haul. And then at Dollar Tree as you'll see they also had some new stuff out so I was really excited about that. So now I think I'm going to head over to Michael's to see if they have any more of their Halloween things out as well. So let's go.
headed to Michael's again and um, Target to see if they have anything else out. Uh, last time I was at Michael's, they said that they should be getting another shipment in uh, today, Friday. So I'm going to check them out and see what they got. So let's go. So I just got done at Michael's and Target and I'm so excited because they had the little decor I was looking for because mine had broke. So I was able to get another one of those and Target also had some new little things in their dollar section. So I'm going to head home now and show you all what I got. So we are back home and I am in my newly clean craft area. If you didn't watch that video, definitely go check it out. I will link it up above here and down below in the comments. But let's go ahead and get into this haul because like always, it's a huge haul. So grab yourself a drink and a snack and relax as I show you guys what I got. So first I'm going to start off with what I got at Marshall's. 
and I was really excited. I found this Ray Dunn sign. It's ceramic and it says Witch's Kitchen. Now I'm going to be converting my kitchen into a witchy black floral Edwardian uh, forest theme as well. Um, like in my bedroom video, how my bedroom design is, I'm going to be transferring that theme into my living room and my kitchen as well. So I thought this would look really nice up there. And then the next things I found are more fall related, not Halloween, but they still go with the forest witch aesthetic. And they are these gorgeous fox plates. And I got a couple of these. I thought these would be great for um, my Maybon celebration. So I'll probably use those for that. I also found this mug. It says Witch's Brew. And it's purple on the inside. Thought that was so cute. I also found some Halloween jewelry. So the box is so cute. It's purple and glittery with a bat. And then you open it up. And they are these cute little ghosties. With bows. And these were only $12.99. They had some other ones as well. And I think I got footage of that. So you've probably seen it. I also found this gorgeous vase, and it's not necessarily Halloween related, but it'll look perfect for Halloween. It's purple, and it's huge, and I thought it will look gorgeous with some black florals, but it's absolutely beautiful. I also found the blanket I was looking for. I know I already got two, but this one is more Halloween related. The other two are more witchy themed. So this one I will just leave out for Halloween and then put it away with my decor. But it's the ghost one that says, I love my boo. <laughs> and it's so precious. I love it. And I was so excited that I finally found it. And then the next item I found, I actually didn't know they were coming out with. But I was so surprised. This is going to go outside my front door and it's this huge rug is it is it upside down oh yeah sorry it's upside down and it says witchy vibes and it's got that vintage halloween look to it and i absolutely love it i think it'll go great outside my front door there and then the next item isn't Halloween related either. And I think I'm going to leave it out year round. But it's going to go perfect with the witchy aesthetic. And it's this moon shelf. Now it's currently white of course. But I'm going to be spray painting it black. And then I thought this would look perfect in my living room. With some crystals and maybe some witchy decor or Halloween decor in there. So I love that. And this was only, let's see, $19.99. And it's, it's pretty heavy, so it'll definitely need anchored down, but it's very good quality. And then before I seen that these were all the rave, I actually found one and picked it up. And if you don't know, I'm a huge huge Betsy Johnson fan so when I saw this skull purse by her I picked it up immediately and I was like yep that's mine absolutely love that and I have multiple purses that she's put out through the years I absolutely love them comes with this cute little um purse scarf so cute and then while I was there I also found something else Betsy Johnson related it's not necessarily witchy themed or Halloween themed, but it, I guess it could be Halloween themed because it's candy related, but it's this cute little gummy bear bag. I thought this would be so perfect for a weekend bag and it's so cute and it comes with this little 
dangly with gummy bears on it. I absolutely love it. It is so gorgeous. And then on the inside, it's this beautiful floral material. Absolutely love that. Gorgeous. Oh, and the, the, um, the inside of the black one is that same material as well. Love it, love it, love it. So it, this purse is like my two personalities in one. It's like a dark aesthetic, but on the inside, I'm like rainbow licious. Awesome. Love it. So that's everything that I got from Marshalls. So now let's move on to TJ Maxx. Okay, so moving right along to what I got at TJ Maxx. In the checkout line, I found these cute little slipper socks. They are so adorable. I love them so much. I also found a, another mug. It's got a skeleton. Well, it's got two skeleton hands on it. Then I found this cute little witchy gnome candy jar. I thought that was so cute. And he's got a little gem on his nose. So cute. Sorry about the glare, guys. My ring light is on. Um, I also found this crow and skull decor with the potions books. I thought that was so cool. That'll go perfect in my living room. And then I was so excited I was able to get one of these. But it's a mug and it says pick your poison and then it has the globe up top and the inside is all purple I was so excited to snag one of these when I saw that I was like yep that's mine and then from TJ Maxx I also got yet another blanket but this one is also Halloween related and it's this, I don't know, it reminds me of nerdy pumpkins, especially with the ones with the glasses on. I think they're so cute, and it's definitely my vibe there with witches and nerds. I thought that was so cute. So, I that's everything that I got from TJ Maxx, so now let's move on to Michael's. All right, so now everything that I got from Michael's, and I was really excited to find these really cute potion bottles. So, and it's like a, I don't know, like a crackly, um, what would you even call that? I'm not even sure. Bubble effect? Not bubbles, but like when a bubble pops and leaves that kind of, I don't even know, but they're really gorgeous. And each of them come with a skeleton key and a faux crystal topper and then a leopard bow. So this one's the black one. Then they have more of a gold. And then I also got the green one. I thought they were so gorgeous. And then I also found this cute caged crow and he's sitting on top of a skull. I absolutely love this. And they also had one with a beetle and um, a Venus, uh, Venus flytrap as well. But I picked up the crow. Love that. And then I found the second tin. The first one I picked up had something to do with herbs. So this one is moth wings. So that'll be going in my kitchen as well. It'll probably hold tea bags. And then I found this crow. I was so excited to find one of these. I'm not too fond of like the, the glittery furries on him, but I couldn't find one that was a decent price that was this big. So I went ahead and picked this one up. He will do. And then I also picked up one of the jack-o'-lantern picks. I 
And then I got some decor pieces. I picked up this really cute coffin piece and it says, I am the daughter of the sun and moon. And even though I have been born into this world, my heart will always belong to the stars. I thought that was so cute. So I picked that up and this will probably be out year round. Absolutely love that. And then I was able to find the piece that had broken. So it was this piece. And if you had watched my last haul video, you can actually see the broken piece up here. I didn't realize it until I was editing that it actually, it had broken. And I was devastated because then when, when I went back to that Michaels, they were all sold out. So finally I went to a second Michaels and they had, you know, one, this was the last one. So I went ahead and picked it up. It says, welcome witches. Absolutely love that. Um, and then something similar. This one says midnight moon, midnight moonlight and magic. And it's got that same green background with this design on top. Love that. And then I found another apothecary sign. You're probably wondering, Shayna, how many apothecary signs do you need? All the signs. All of them. But once I show you this, you'll know why. It says, Forest Witch. What? Get out of here. So you know I had to pick this one up. Absolutely love that. And this one is actually metal. And then, I'm not sure if I had showed this one in my last one or not. But I also found the one I was looking for the last haul. And it's this one here, which is Layer Apothecary. And this one is made out of, um, it's not, I don't think it's real wood. It might be that pressed wood. But I absolutely love this. It's so gorgeous. That is everything that I got at Michael's. So now let's move on to Target. So then at Target at the dollar section, I was really excited to find the things that I found. I found these really cute keychains. They're called costume critters. So it's a bat in a jack-o'-lantern costume. This one is a mummy as a skeleton. And then this one is a cat as a ghost. <laughs> I just thought they were so cute. These would make really cute um, trick or treat gifts for your kids that, you know, if you don't want to get them candy or you've already got them some candy and you want to get them something else, those would be perfect for that. I was also excited to find these, I guess they're ceramic, these little ceramic crows. They were in the dollar section as well. And then I also found this little cute pumpkin soap. And it's supposed to, it, uh, it's supposed to smell like pumpkin pie. So cute. And then they also had this sweet treat scented bath fizzer in the shape of a bat. I thought that was so cute. And then in the dollar section as well, I found this really cool beaker. And it's got the ombre with the orange and the clear. I thought that would be awesome as a Halloween decoration. But then I was also thinking if you wanted to get somebody a gift set for Halloween, just, you know, pick up some of these, the soap and the bath fizzer. You can put it right in the beaker with some candy or even one of these, put some candy in there. I just thought that would be such a cute little gift. Or of course you can use it as a floral display or something like that as well, or even um, some type of candy jar. You know, the candy that's individually wrapped, you could put those in there as well. And then I also found some Halloween Cotton Candy Party Pack. So it comes in a pack of three. So we got a mummy, a spider, and I'm not sure what the other one is. 
Oh, it's another mummy. So there's two mummies and a spider in there. I think they also had ones with pumpkin, like jack-o'-lanterns and maybe Dracula as well. And then I also found this cute little ceramic bat candle holder. I thought that was so cute. And then with the crows, I also found this ceramic stack of witchy books, curses, let's see, what's it say? Curses, brews, and potions. Thought that was cute. And then I found some treat bags that say boo. And you just, you fold them down and it's just, it's so cute. It's simplistic, but it's so cute. And this is, let's see, a pack of three for a dollar. Then I also found some bar towels. This one says, bewitching in the kitchen. <laughs> that is so cute. And it's a pack of two. And then I also found these. It says Bone Appetit. And then it also comes with this. And then in the card section, I found some Halloween stickers. So this is two sheets. So you get 134 stickers. And it's jack o' lanterns, ghosts, and bats. And then I got two sheets, which are 50 stickers of some, looks like, party ghosts. <laughs> They're so cute. And then I was really excited to find this um, Halloween countdown. It's 31 Frightful Finds. This was in the card section as well. But there's like little doors that you can open. And it says... Lift the flap to reveal a fun surprise and count down the days to Halloween. Trick-or-treating, costume parties, and more. I just thought that was so cute. And this was actually $4.99, so not a bad deal for that. And then, oh, also in the dollar section, I found these much sought-after um, potion jars. Apparently, they came out last year. I hadn't seen them. But, there are these little potion jars. So we have Eye of Newt and Bat Wings. And then this one is Witch's Brew and Haunted House Dust. Then we have Full Moon, Magic, and Ghost Breath. And then this one is Dragon Essence. And the stuff in there looks like it can be used for crafts. It's like, like the Ghost Breath. It's these little... Um, what would it be? Iridescent uh, words that say boo. And like these, of course, are just glitter. And then this one, it looks like some sort of shredded paper with plastic eyeballs in it. So I really like that you could, you know, reuse these for crafting or just keep them in there as decor. But these are like little bats. I don't know if you can see because of my light, but, and then this one is gold, gold circles and gold stars, so that's really cool, and then also, if you go back to where the books and DVDs are, they have a section of, like, fandom related items, so you'll find Harry Potter stuff, Star Wars stuff, Things dealing with Funkos, you'll have action figures and everything like that. So, I actually found a, what's, what are they calling it? A solar-powered body knocker of Sam from Trick or Treat. 
And I'm so excited. He's so cute. I absolutely love him. So they have several different ones. I also found a Jason from Friday the 13th. But yeah, definitely go back and, and check the items out back there because you'll definitely find some Halloween related stuff. They had a core line action figure that I wanted. She was $30 though, so I didn't pick her up. These knockers were only $12.99, so that's a pretty good deal because they're, you know, pretty good size. And they also had, I think, things dealing with gremlins and um, other spooky characters like that. So definitely go back in that section and check those out. But now let's move on to things that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Okay, last but not least is everything that I got from Dollar Tree. So as you saw in a past witchy decor haul, I actually found the pink ones of these. But this time I found the black, so I was really excited about that. And these were actually the only one that had all three. So there was numerous ones that were missing a bow. So pick those up. I also found some more scarves. And these are actually infinity scarves. So I got one with jack-o'-lantern faces. It's really cute. And then I also got one with a witch's hat. And it says, we all have a bit of magic in us. So I thought that was really cute as well. And then another YouTuber that I watch actually had this great idea. She used these witch hat picks as cupcake toppers. And I thought that was really cute. I will leave um, that video of hers down in the description box, but I picked up two of these. I thought that would be a cute idea maybe to do for a Halloween party or Halloween morning or something like that for the kids. I thought that was a cute idea. I also picked up some more Halloween socks. These ones are the fuzzy kind and they're low cut. Then I found some ornaments. This is a five count, and it's black glitter, and it's a witch on a broom. And then I also got the haunted house version. And then I found another rub on transfer sticker. This one says, ghouls just want to have fun, and it's got a cute little ghosty on there. I thought that was so cute. Then I found a little tote bag. It says, cast a spell. I also picked up another version of the wooden haunted house. I, I believe they have four different versions. So I have one of, the, one of the four, and then this is the second of the four. And I also found another uh, wall background. This one has a cauldron with some potions and witchy books. And then I got another creepy cloth. And I picked up some more glittery spiders. And then I found this really cute garland. It's purple. And it has little cauldrons and witch hats. I thought that was so cute. So I picked some of those up. I also picked up two of the uh, wire brush. Is that what they're called? Just says Halloween tree. Wire brush trees. And they're black and glittery. Then I picked up one of the wooden witch hats. So I'll be painting that. And then, I wasn't sure if I picked these up or not. I might have already done so, but just in case, 
I picked these up. Halloween stickers. So cute. And then in the aisle with the socks, I was so surprised to find these. <laughs> they're so awesome. But they're ladies' tights. And they're part of the Halloween line. So you have your fishnets. And then you have the spider web version. I thought that was so cool. So I picked those up. I also picked up some of the uh, Halloween candy. So we have Frankenstein and witch hats. And then the jack-o'-lanterns with the ghosts. And then for yard signs... I found these two guys they're so cool I just love the the vintage feel of them and of course this one has a mustache so that's definitely nerdy and right up my alley and then I found this spook spookier one that says wicked witch way haunted hollows and dead end thought that was cool And then, oh, I was so excited to find these. But they had uh, witchy, like, book, uh, what do they call these? Witchy book content, like they're, they look like books, but they're actually containers. They had several of these, and they come in three different sizes. But this one is the Curses and Hexes. I also got the Witch's Book of Spells. And here you can see, let me show you this one. You can see how they look like books. These are so cool. And for only a dollar, like, get out of here. Potions and poisons. And then love potions. So cool. And then I also found a tablecloth. Thought that was really neat. And then this little wooden sign, it says, come in for a spell. Thought that was cute. And then I also picked up some more fall related items. So they came out with these really pretty fall themed plates. They also had some napkins to go with that, but instead of, like, doing pumpkin with pumpkin, I picked up some mustard color napkins to go with it. And then I got some of these uh, wooden ornaments. So I got the ones that look like little lattes. thought those were so cute. Little foxes. And then little acorns. And I thought these would be good to use uh, for name plates during Thanksgiving. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to have Thanksgiving because the Delta version of COVID is getting worse. But once we're able to get together again, I thought these would be cute to decorate and put people's names on to sit at their, their plates for the holidays. And then I also found some... Fall Rubble and Transfers. And this had little birdies on it, so I definitely had to get this one. And then this one has more of a, a darker leaf aesthetic. Love that. And then I also found these little sunflowers. thought they would be cute for little crafts, especially... Um, when I do crafts for my altar, like this would be good for llamas. So I picked those up. And I believe that is everything from Dollar Tree. And that completes my witchy haul. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.